All right, boys, I'm going to let some of this gameplay kind of just play out. Also, shout out to my ladies. Got a comment the other day, said I always leave out the ladies. I apologize. This channel's for everybody. I, ju I just want you to know that everybody is a fella here. With that being said, let's talk about this hand cannon, man. I have been so surprised by it. And I had to make this review because I originally talked a lot of crap about True Prophecy because it was right after Beyond Light went live. We were trying out a bunch of different hand cannons and I tried True Prophecy and I was like, mm -mm, don't like that because the recoil just felt weird and i didn't know if weird was good yet or if weird was bad I, I just had no idea what to expect from it but after this week of trials after going through my vault tracking down the best roll 120s i had i came across this true prophecy rampage range finder very high range this weapon actually has just like the other role we showed the other day the potential to kill up to 50 meters or let me be more specific it doesn't run into damage fall off until 50 meters. Rangefinder substantially throws the range up of our hand cannons. Now, I've got Sturm with the catalyst. She's nasty. Got all the right things in all the right places. But Sturm still caps out or at least starts to receive damage fall off at about 44 meters. And even other 120s without Rangefinder also run into the same situation. 44 meters is like the high mark, right? Rangefinder is tacking on close to 6 meters all by itself. Which I feel like Rangefinder is like way it differently here on 120s as on 140s i feel like rangefinder only tax on like an extra three meters but it seems like it's double here for 120s and i'm curious to know if that was intentional on bungie's part regardless though you're looking at a sniper cannon that's exactly what this true prophecy is it is a sniper cannon and when you pair it with things like rampage the two tapping potential is disgusting time to kill for 120s again one second 91 damage per crit got some slight rounding there as well as 50 damage per body i actually really like this even in 1v1 scenarios despite the time to kill being a little lengthier simply because the weapon can secure a kill on guardians five resilience or less in one crit two body or at least it should mathematically it should two tapping though is true prophecies bread and butter simply because it elevates that damage to 99 damage per crit which no doesn't allow us to kill max resilience guardians but guardians between eight to nine resilience or less can be killed with two shots 0.5 seconds it's a beautiful thing to behold and considering the role that i just showed you i actually like to do a lot of different things with it i might rock things like empowering rifts to get a kill off thus beginning the chain of rampage stacks or you could take advantage of whisper of hedrons 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 which buffs our damage substantially allowing us to run around two tapping upon freezing a target with stasis which if you've seen the sandbox is not necessarily a hard thing to do but just as an added cherry on top i found rampage spec to be a forgotten mod which is so good here for something like a 120 with rampage this allows me to hang on to that rampage stack for an extra second and i know one second doesn't seem like a long time but sometimes you need that extra second that last bit of um to follow through and get that kill right it matters man it really does and that's an extra second with each and every stack this allows for more chaining and the weapon just gets substantially deadlier with each kill so it's true prophecy the best 120 in the game it's kind of the best 120 simply because the competition has been somewhat eliminated i think that 120s can all compete with each other steady hand has some extremely beneficial combinations in regards to quick draw as well as like iron grip if you really just wanted to make it the most consistent 120 in the game it can do that and on certain maps you don't need 50 meters of range although it's always nice to have just to do full damage and of course accuracy does tie into your range and i feel like that's something that's really overlooked having that range stickiness that bullet magnetism really ties into the weapon itself and normally when you start running into damage fall off you simultaneously start to run into inaccuracies but true prophecy is king for me of 120s even above sturm due to the fact that it can do things with rampage it can roll with things like time payload explosive payload it has some crazy flinch capabilities and more ease of use when it comes to two tapping and i know you could two tap with sturm and of course you could pair sturm with drain which gets even more nuts but what i like about true prophecy is its ease of use and its ability to go even into elimination modes like trials and still perform phenomenally well i think the only hand cannon that would have given true prophecy a run for its money is duke mk44 everything about this hand cannon pretty much does what true prophecy does it rolls with rangefinder it rolls with rampage it's got range boosting perks like ricochet rounds which also aids stability honestly if duke hadn't been sunset it may be the king of 
120s right now. I've played with it a couple of times and it doesn't seem to have as much of a recoil change from pre Beyond Light to now. Like it seems a little more subtle in comparison to like True Prophecy. True Prophecy almost turned me off completely due to that 110 to 120 conversion and whatever recoil changes they made to it. But now that I've adjusted, I don't believe I'm going to go back anymore. So guys, try it out for yourselves. The only downside to all of this is True Prophecy is no longer available in the loot pool. So there's no way to actively grind for it. As pulled from the TWAB just a few weeks ago, True Prophecy had been removed from the Royal Loot Pool. This is intentional. Cosmo actually followed up on Reddit and stated that True Prophecy was removed due to adding the seventh Seraph hand cannon and wanting to make sure the rule pool has a balanced distribution. Those two along with Dire Promise would mean players would be getting more kinetic hand cannons over other drops in the rule pool. And our goal is to ensure players have a wide variety of archetypes in the rule pool. Spoiler, we do have two new 120 round per minute hand cannons coming next season for anyone who is enjoying that sub archetype. That's unfortunate. Look, I really wish there was a better way to do this. Like in regards to sunsetting, loot, availability, all those things. But I understand why they're doing it because essentially you could get a weapon that will sunset literally next season. And a lot of players would be really upset with that. In the case of True Prophecy though, considering how good it is and how there is no real replacement. Yes, you got Steady Hand, but you can't get Rampage or Range Finder on it. You don't have Duke. It just got Sunset. It's just unfortunate that considering how good True Prophecy is, I couldn't think of a worse time for it to be unavailable. Available. And like we're just speaking from the perspective of PvP today. True Prophecy is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, PvE hand cannon, as you can roll things like Overflow alongside Rampage. I know there's probably some serious FOMO, especially considering people were jumping in the stream, and I was asked over and over again what hand cannon I was using, and I unfortunately had to tell people that they couldn't even get the hand cannon anymore. Either way it goes though, if you do have True Prophecy, use it. Try it. Give it a go. Whether you're rocking time payload, explosive payload, or rampage, combined with something like rangefinder, which gives you a nice six, seven meter boost, this is an excellent hand cannon. And even though the recoil is somewhat jarring, if you spend time with it, you will get used to it. Unless you're like, I don't know, still on last gen consoles. Might be a little tough then. 70 something field of view, 30 frames per second. Yeah, I can only imagine how much this hand cannon actually jumps for you guys. It might feel all right for you. If you do play on last gen consoles, the PS4 or the old Xbox, let me know in the comments below which 120 has felt the best for you. For me though, guys, now that I've just adjusted myself, True Prophecy is the best 120 in the game and you can't even get it anymore. So let this be a lesson to everybody. Save those weapons because you never know what's about to become meta. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>